Hello, today I want to show you how you can automate the process of creating your Facebook share images or open graph images for your WordPress based website. So you don't have to create them one by one for every blog post that you write. The tools we use in this automation are a WordPress instance and Placid. We are going to start with setting up Placid first. Let's start by creating a new project. You just hit the add new project button. You give your project a title, our WordPress site. Then we select the project type WordPress and hit create project. After we created our project, we can already install the plugin into our WordPress site. We can do so by heading under the tab plugin and license key. We can download the plugin, copy the license key and head over into our WordPress. There we go to plugins. We add a new plugin. We upload it. Since we have the zip file downloaded, I will just drag it up. Install now. This will install the plugin now. Right after we can activate it. And it's installed. Now on the left side, you can see Placid Images. There we head to the setup part. Click on the tab here on setup. Add our license key. Hit save. And the first step is done. In our next step, we are already creating a template. You can think of a template as similar to a Photoshop template, but we are going to take automatically data from your WordPress site, for example, from a blog post, fit it into the template and create an image for you. So this is basically how it works. To create a template, you can either use our web app or since we have installed the WordPress plugin, we can just head to templates, click create template, now we can select a predefined size to see some presets. Uh, we are go want to create Facebook open graph images, so we are going to select open graph. Now we can either start completely from scratch or select a preset. We are going with a preset now, I'm selecting this one. Now the template is created, we can hit edit. <clears throat> and this is our main template editor. This template or every template consists of different layers. You can have as many text or image layers as you want. And then in our next step, we're going to fill those layers with some data. So um, this template looks quite nice for a blog post. We are going to fill this title with the title of our blog post. Um, this layer, the subline, we are going to keep as it is. Uh, maybe we can fill it with our WordPress site and the background image will be the featured image which is added to our blog post. So let's hit save. And this is basically it. You can see you have now one template defined. You can edit it as you like and then we set it up as an OG image. In our final step, we are going to take the just created template and set it as a side wide open graph image. To do so, we just switch onto the next tab. We enable open graph images through Placid. And there you can see different tabs or sections for different types on your site. So for example, you could have a default template for your whole site. You can have then on top of that one, which is uh, only active on pages, posts, or if you have installed custom post types, you will see them here as well. Um, you can be very specific and it's very flexible. <clears throat> but for this tutorial, we are just going to pick a default one. That's our template. Now you can see all the layers that are defined in it. We want the image, which is the big one in the background, to be filled by the featured image of a post. And the title, the big one here, should be the page's title or the post's title. And the subline, which we called our WordPress site, we keep on default. So that should not change. And now you're basically done. You can head over onto a detail page of your blog. <clears throat> Activate our little helper at the top here. 
and you can see all your generated images right away. They are set for Facebook and Twitter automatically, generated automatically, and that's it. They will already work in the Facebook URL debugger. And of course, in the Twitter card validator. So you're good to go. So that's it for this automation. You will find a link to our blog post with a step-by-step -step recap of this tutorial in the description. Try it out and tell us what you think.